That was terrible. That was crap. That was garbage. This place sucks. Overreaction. Mondays. Monday. All right, Christopher, what do you have over there? Go for it. Hey, everybody. How's it going? All everybody right. Good? Monday. Yeah, we're all good right. again. What's we're the deal, TJ got out of the house. Went to, yo, went to Staples on yeah. Sunday. Yeah. yeah. You know this? Come on, dog. What's up, dog? Is that an overreact? Do I overreact to that? Yeah. We you can... shouldn't. It's Clippers a... Sixers in town. Sixers He's got to go. Oh, you... I thought he was just getting office supplies. Oh, no. Oh. no. Sorry. Because <laughs> you know it's called crypto. No, it's not. Okay. It's Twitter. It's Staples. I thought he went out of his house to go to Staples. You get envelopes? I picked them up on the way home, yes. Okay. They were handing them out. So much NFL toner, draft you got toner? talk, guys. <laughs> sorry. Ink toner. Ink anyway, I'm sorry. Ink. Wow. Yeah. So much NFL draft talk. I've it said is. it before. It's crazy, isn't it? I still think quarterbacks go one to four. I'm going to say five go in the top 15. Oh, I don't think that's an overreaction right now. I don't think it. And it's kind of crazy. Uh, the the I, I went on um, um, radio up in, in Seattle and... Um, you know, I went on Brock Heward's show, and I said Penix is going to get drafted higher than people think, that he won't be around for for the Seahawks when they draft, what did I say, 16? Is that where the Seahawks are? I yeah. originally had this five and so, in the but top 10, and I changed it. No, nah, top 10 is not going to happen. Okay. Top 10 is not happening. Now, that's an overreaction. Top 15 includes the Raiders. Top 12? Raiders, Raiders are 13. Top yeah. 12 is where um, Mr. Uh, Kuyper Jr., the real Mel, not the Mad Mel, um, was on the show last week that um, he had Bo Nix going 12. Now, I don't know about that one, but uh, Penix, you're hearing it's all about the medical exam and what, what that shows. And I, I understand the MRIs are already taken. Like they are, It is what it is. It they is are what they are. Played. He's played two years I with this stuff. hear you. I just wonder if the Raiders are going to be in in the mix for panics at 13 or they just hold and get him in the second round i don't know that's going to be fascinating to me but for this moment i don't believe this is an overreaction i do believe you're going to have four go potentially in a row um or in the top 10 i think jj mccarthy's made himself a top 10 pick top six maybe right if, uh, uh, i i, I think so Boy, that would be amazing if he winds up in New York. Holy cow. Right, well, let's get to them in a second. All right. What else you got? Uh, I was listening to Sean Payton talk, and he was like, yeah, we might move up, too. How about this? The Broncos, week one starting quarterback. He's not on the roster. Not currently yeah, on the roster. I, I, I agree. I don't think that's an overreaction either. I think their week one starting quarterback is not currently on the roster. I would agree with you there. You know? Because also... Jared Stidham right now is... There? Jared Stidham, you know... Oh, yeah. uh, he, he, Let's just say the word uh, when when Jared Stidham's brought up, you don't hear the word pole position from Sean Payton. Yeah, you know, which is the two words being used about the quarterback Sean Payton sent away. So I I would think that that's not an overreaction right now, you know, and we'll we'll see on who else shows up in uh, in Denver. Uh, it, it would have to be Bo Nix or Penix for it to be a drafted player i don't think spencer rattler is going to be the starting week one quarterback oh. for the denver broncos i just don't so um and and sean payton said that they're you know they're they're going through the process right now and he didn't say it's stidham's gig you know and we'll play that soundbite for you at the top of the next hour but i don't think this is an overreaction either chris you're two for two what else let's talk giants their commitment to daniel jones it's going to cost Dabo and company their jobs. I think they're just saying it because they know. They know whoever they draft and Drew Locke being on the team right now, they know that at some point this year, Daniel Jones will return to action and they're going to have to play him. They know it. But I'm telling you, everything I heard at the Combine, it was one of my top five rumors and I will stand by it. Even though the rumor I heard that Trey Lance was position uh, option B for the um, Vikings. for the Vikings if they didn't sign or, or I say I would say it was option one of the top options for them is if they didn't sign Cousins and uh, that hasn't happened. But everything else I said is something that I you know that it, it's definitely Caleb Williams for the Bears. I also said the. You, you're not going to believe the Dallas Cowboys definition of all in and look what's happened. So 
Why wouldn't they stand they, they, put they, at the, six, though, and take a wide receiver? The other one that I said is that they are done with Daniel Jones. They they do not believe he is the long-term answer. But for them to sit here and go they believe in him makes sense because they're going to have to use him. They're going to have to use him. Chris, TJ, he's going to play. I, I imagine because when they get – if they draft someone at six – would that push him up automatically? I think Drew Locke would be the starting quarterback for the, for the Giants in week one. I think Giant fans should get themselves ready for that. So. What are they going to do at six? I think that's kind of. I don't know. It depends on what. Series. It depends on how many quarterbacks go in a row. It depends on, on Malik Neighbors is there. If Malik Neighbors is there at six, I think you throw him in a Giant uniform on the spot. Odell 2.0. No, I think that's Roma what you Dunze do. But the reason right. Roma Dunze might be there too. But I, I, again, is JJ McCarthy available for them at six? Do they like Drake May enough that they go up and get them? And maybe it, we're talking about the Patriots in this in this spot. Yeah, maybe. What else, Chris? Uh, we talked about uh, all the rule changes earlier with with Tommy P. So that's that, an overreaction, is what I'm saying to you. That that I don't think he, they're going to get it. Okay. Let it to get to the point that Daniel Jones is going to cost them their jobs. All right, fair. All, all this kickoff nonsense. It's, it's just time for the NFL to scrap the kickoff for good. No way. Just, no way. You score points? That's not. You get the ball to 25? Now Here we go. Sound like Larry David. Like, what are we doing? Dude. What are, what, we, that, what are we doing? That nine-minute video that the Bears put out when Devin Hester made the the uh, Great, but made that, the, that's made a the Hall league. of Fame. That is a completely different no, league no, with completely no. different rules. I think all what the rules, All the rule changes, again, it's just... You talk about player safety, but you want to add an 18th game. Like, just get rid of the kickoff. Let's put a pin in this, and then when there's a ton of kickoff returns under this new rule this year, um, and it's exciting, and we're going to see it, and then suddenly— I would be stunned if the kickoff becomes exciting this I year. think it will be. I will be stunned. I think you're going to see a lot of teams decide, we're not going to give you the ball in the 30. We're going to pop it up in the air, and we'll play, we'll, 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 we'll play defense, you know? We'll play defense on on this kickoff rule. Um, the thing that 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 I'm I'm upset about is that the the onside kick is pretty much dead. That's dead. It's been dead. I know that. What a two percent recovery. I, I or disagree. That's an overreaction. Don't get rid of kickoffs for good. It's too damn exciting. It was. It was. It's exciting. like it's like a bases clearing triple in, in baseball. It's exciting. The whole fans, you, you, everyone talks about it on the spot. And maybe you, 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 uh, your defense special teams fantasy play becomes that much more valuable in your fantasy league, and you're gonna, you'll dig that too. Get rid of it. Now, what else? You say uh, get rid of it until an exciting, like you said, Rich. Until sounds it like a basketball what? question's once coming. Once a year, once a year, something uh, Mike, exciting Mike happens. Mike switch some music. What uh, else? What do you got? All right, let's talk NBA real quick. One of the Lakers or Warriors not even going to make the play-in tournament. Houston is coming, people. Oh. Ooh. I don't know about that. Somebody, Steph, LeBron, out. Not going to make it. Play in. Uh, I don't think that's an overreaction. How far back is Houston? I didn't see the standings this morning. Houston's on fire. They've won eight in a row. And if you look at the standings, a game behind they are State. a game behind. Two and a half behind the Lakers. Yeah. All right. Pretend. They're Thank 11. you very much. They're Appreciate 11. that. There you go. Yeah, I think you could make the case. What? That a team is one game out of the play-in tournament? Can knocking the Warriors out? Yeah, we're talking either no LeBron or no Steph. I mean, when was the last time that happened? I just like the fact that that, that means the Rockets and Warriors are going to be playing their players this week, right? There's not going to be some. By the way, are we I don't know, less anybody? For, for hey, Curry. Uh, this is in all honesty here. This is just a moment for us. Anybody else out there playing NBA fantasy in the last two weeks, where your team is just totally ravaged, where that suddenly there's injury management, this and. And sitting that, I mean, everybody's sitting I, players these days. Checking. Oh, my God. So The GTD game. Oh, it's, game oh my like, gosh. All doing? right. Good stuff. Oh, you got one more? Oh, I got a couple more. Uh, real quick. Uh, all four number one seeds are going to make the final four. Dominant over no, the weekend. Number uh, one seeds. No, they Dominant. weren't. Houston, Houston needed to hang on for its dear life. They were forced to overtime. They blew it at the end of, the, at the end of, their, at the end of regulation. They were you know, 13 uh, minutes I, ago. I mean, come I, on. I, I, I don't know about that. I, 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 as you know, I've got uh, UConn and then the three two seeds making it. So I'll push back. I'll say that's an overreaction. It's it's only happened, what, three times in the last quarter century or even worse? Gonna even longer? Year. What last, else? Last one. We're going to hear from him later today. Gambling scandal is going to loom over Otani all season. No doubt. Going to have the worst year of his career. Oh, 
I don't know about that. That guy can silo like anybody's business. We'll find out. I'll say that that will be uh, an overreaction, the worst season of his career. What I think he, the Dodgers. Suspended. I think the Dodgers. Well, I mean, if he does, then 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 he'll have, then his numbers will be down. How's that? How's that for a take? <laughs> I don't know about him being suspended. I don't know. Let's find out what he has to say later on today. I bet you. How about this? My prediction of what he's going to say later on today will be: uh, I was robbed, and um, I need some privacy in this time, and let the investigations play out, and I will be totally vindicated by the end. Thanks for being here. I will take no questions. Oh, that'll be so disappointing. Uh, I mean, I, I I think that's what it's going to take. Catch the Rich Eisen Show every single day on the Roku channel, 12 to 3 Eastern for free.